There we go. Heart. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, all right. Sunday morning. Mwah. Yogis, welcome, welcome, welcome to your practice. So, Yeah, I think I'm just feeling into the energy, see if there's anything in particular today. Come to play, come to play. All right, well, let's just get to it. Just uh, let's open our practice. So let's start with the palms up in some way. If you like this, if you like this, like this, just any way that feels good and take an inhale, lengthen nice and tall. And as you exhale, Bow your chin, close your eyes, and just be in your sit for a moment or two. Just feeling your breath. And then drop your awareness to your open palms. Just tuning in to the energy there, the heat there, always present. Soften your eyes. So we enter into this practice from a place of softness and ease and reverence. You inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. You want to hold your heart. Go ahead and do that. Just feeling how we move from outwards to inwards, even just as we begin the practice. Feel into your heartbeat. Great. And we'll move from outward to inward and we'll call ourselves home three times. Inhale to lengthen and release this breath completely. And then inhale to begin. <clears throat> oh. Oh. chin, release your hands to your thighs, lift your chin and open your eyes. Okay, so let's start with a foot massage. We've been starting this way um, and we're just going to also weave the fingers. So if you're wearing your socks, you can take them off and then just loving this foot, whichever one you've got, feeling into the balls of the feet, the bones of the feet, the soft edges of your feet. It and I'm also doing the top and the bottom of the foot. Okay, well, you, whichever foot you have, you're going to take the opposite hand. We're going to weave the fingers in between the toes, and so you can use the opposite hand to just pull the toes up and separate them. And you know, I'll say this as always that if you barely get in between the toes, that's that's your place, and you just breathe in and, and take that. If you can get web to web, then just moving the toes and spaciousness in your toes. You want, you want that. That's important. Good. Okay. And maybe I'm going to just pull the foot and give it a little twist. So if you need to take your fingers out, you're going to do that. Just twist your foot a few times. Good. Okay, and we'll take a big breath in, breathe out, release your toes, take a moment to just examine your feet. I mean, one of mine is literally gray. Yeah, <laughs> and the other one is it's so pink. true. So, it's great. Okay, we'll take 
the other one and we're gonna think that one up. I just love the feet. I'll say also guys, when Rachel is home, <laughs> so excited. Uh, thank you. I know, I know, I know. I think both Hart and I slept so good last night yeah. having both children under the roof. So that was really was lovely. Thank you. She's so happy. But I'm not happy to be home. <laughs> but she's happy she had that experience. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to bring the opposite hand in between the toes. Oh, so beautiful. You know, my soul family. <laughs> and then just doing whatever you can here between the toes and we're just inviting in spaciousness and then we start with the feet and we're going to do a little face massage next i know who's here and no one has a full face makeup so that is going to be good but... oh. okay and now i'm just going to twist this foot a little bit good okay Pink it up. And then when you're ready, friends, you'll just let that go. Um, it's always interesting, too. The one that you did first is already returning back to its habitual color. So it's always interesting. Okay, I'm going to change the cross of the legs. And I am sitting on a blanket. And then the next thing we're going to do is just take your fingers. You're just going to tap from the center uh, down the eyebrows to the temples and then from the temples to the hairline. And we'll just do that a few times. And I'm actually turning my hands so I kind of get above and below the eyebrows, just very gently. And I'll do that one more time. And then we're gonna do the same thing underneath the eye. So right at the bridge of the nose. And I might just use two fingers here, just tapping on the eye bone and breathe. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do the cheeks and you're gonna find like the apples of your cheeks. You know, I, I think that's like the center of your cheeks. And I'm just using one finger here. I can push in and there is like a spot that feels uh, like maybe that's where the fingers belong. So there it is. And just kind of find it, you know, just maybe just press in, make some circles in the apples of your cheeks. Good. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna go up to the forehead and we're just gonna tap from the center to the temples a few times. Keep your breath nice, your breathing nice, your face relaxed. And now we're gonna go to the chin and we're just gonna make this little, um, so the thumbs rest at the bottom of the chin, the fingers on top, and we're just gonna trace the jawbone up, wherever you end up up. You might go right up to your ears or the end of the jawbone. Just do that a few times. Good. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is the ears. And we're gonna start with the index fingers just in front of the ear. So just, uh, there's a nice soft spot there between jawbone and ear. And you're just gonna trace ooh, your lines up and down a few times. And then we're gonna go to the backs of the ears and do the same thing. Just massage along the backs of your ears a few times. And then we're gonna grab all this earlobe flesh and just kind of give it a pull and a rub like you're crimping a pie all the way down to the earlobes if you don't have earrings on and all the way up to the top. Okay, now I have these fancy earbuds in, but you don't. So now you're gonna take one finger, maybe two, but that, you know, you'll see how big your ear space is and just open the ear space. So the fingers go in and maybe you pull forward, you press back and you press down, just Kind of do that for one more moment, explore it, and then let your hands rest just like we started and just feel what you've done already. So face, feet, mm. senses. Awesome. Okay, good. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna do the wrist now. We're just gonna do one more. So just move your wrists, your fingers. Good, okay. And then we'll take these little hands, reach them, cross them, turn them, clasp them, and then you bring them in. And wherever you stop, you know, your wrists are gonna tell you where you need to stop. And maybe you can keep the fingers holding, maybe you can't. Drop your shoulders, lift your heart, drop your jaw. Good. Okay, one more breath. You see like this is how far I get, heart's got his arms straight. All fine. Get release, open, flip. Clasp and then bring it on through. And same thing, wherever you go, 
Just drop your shoulders, lift your heart, drop the jaw. Wherever you are, you're just doing this. You probably did this when you were seven. Yes. Oh, amazing. Good. And then release. Let's just give these a little shake, a little finger play. Okay. Good. All right. So we're going to start on, um, we're going to start in child's pose. So if you feel like you just want to lie on your back and hug your knees into your chest and that's your child's pose right now, that's all fine. Okay. As we set up for child's pose, I'm going to give you see a blanket underneath the knees. Okay. <clears throat> Smooth it out. I'm going to bring the blocks to the front of the mat and we might use them in a little bit. Just so they're there, let's place them there. Good. Okay. And then come into your child's pose like it's like the first time you've ever done this. So you'll start with, you know, the knees a little wider, tops of the feet on the floor. And then we did this in class the other day where we walked a little bit front to back. So we get the wrist to kind of open and we're just moving in so slow. Good. Okay, and then as you're ready, I'm going to start with taking the hips to the heels first. And if you need to throw your bolster in or something, you do that. And then from the hips to the heels, walk your hands out and lengthen yourself. If that works, you know, you might be on your forearms and just be there for a few moments. And when we start like this, you know, then you can really tune into any discomfort, anything that's talking to you your knees, your hips, feet, the ankles, maybe the shoulders, and just drop in as much as you can. So we take the awareness from outside in to the sensations that we're feeling here. Okay, nice big breath in, breathe it out, and release from this into a downward facing dog. Um, if you're on your back, you need to stretch your legs out. You need to just press yourself up and back. Take a few moments here to invite in any movement you need. I'm going to be pedaling the legs, anchoring one heel to the floor and then the other. Maybe waving your tush side to side a little bit. Good. Okay. One nice big breath in, breathe out, lift your heels high, lower your knees to the floor. We're coming back to hands and knees. This time when we keep the toes tucked under, we're just gonna wave front to back a few times. Just moving in whatever you know space is offered here. You're really paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna do one or two in full. So I'll come forward to a little bit of a cobra. And then all the way back. Do one more like that. That's interesting. Good. Okay. And then come up to your hands and your knees. Adjust this, whatever you need. We're going to go through cat cow. I'm going to keep my little toes tucked under. Good. Okay. So as you inhale, arch your back up to the sky, drop your head, curl in. And as you exhale, move into the cat portion or the cow portion. So just moving your spine here. If it's too much for your wrists, you can always go onto your forearms. Good. Just rolling on through to each place. So you feel the tailbone and the crown of the head connection. Let your jaw go, friends, if you're clenching at all. Okay, let's do one more. And I'm going to return to child's pose. If you need to sit, and you know, I kind of stopped directing you if you're on your back. You just come in when you need to, or if this is not what you need today, you just honor yourself by sitting on your back. It's all fine. Be with the breath. Notice the sensations in this child's pose. Good. Okay. Inhale, come back to your hands and your knees. 
Exhale, come back to your downward facing dog, even just for a moment here. And okay, we're gonna come onto our backs. I'm gonna do it all fancy. So I'm gonna take one leg, whichever leg, and just pop it right underneath you across the opposite leg. And then you're just gonna turn, get your tush down. And then you're down. Okay, I'm gonna keep this blanket here. If you need another one for under your head, you place it. And then we'll just come to lie down for a few moments. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch my arms over my head, lengthen the legs away, get nice and long. Let's take a few breaths here. Just feel it might flex your feet a little bit. Press out through the inseam of your legs. That makes sense. Okay, I'll take a big breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna bring the left knee in. If you need to bend the right leg, you're gonna do that. Interlace your fingers above the shin or behind the thigh. And just be here in this. And then let the left leg move a little bit in any way that makes sense. Be with your breath. Okay, if you have the right leg extended, it, it might be very relaxed and maybe that's what you need. Or you activate that leg like you're standing on it. Good. Okay, take one more moment here. I'm gonna just hug this knee in as much as I can. Drop the shoulders, drop the jaw. Maybe you tuck your head so the chin comes down a little bit. Good. Okay, as you inhale, release the leg, arms over your head, legs out. And then as you exhale, right knee's coming in, change the interlace. <coughs> and then find some movement in any way that makes sense for you here. Now this hugging this knee in, one knee in, is, you know, you're massaging your inner organs. It's good for digestion, elimination. Also creates some spaciousness for the back. Okay, I'm gonna just hug this shin in as much as I can. Be as active as you need to be, as passive as you need to be. Literally, you get to choose your own adventure. Okay, inhale as you are. On the exhalation, release, arms over your head, extend the legs. I'm gonna keep the arms over the head. Bend your left leg, left foot to the floor. Bend your right leg, right foot to the floor. Heel toe these feet a little wider. And then as you inhale, stretch the arms away a little more. And as you exhale, we're gonna drop the knees to the right. And you're just gonna go nice and slow. Feel as you grow your pose. Good. Take one more breath. Side out. Moving on your inhale. Maybe use the feet to help lift the knees. See if that makes sense to you. And then exhale, knees over to the left. And nice and slow. And maybe the arms extend a little more. Just feel what you need here. Breathe into everything on offer. And take a nice inhale. And exhale, roll the feet to lift the knees. Good. Okay. Widen the feet a little wider. Pigeon toe the feet in. Drop the knees in towards each other. I'm keeping my arms over the head, but if you need to bring them down, do that. And then just breathe into this space. Good. One more breath. Okay, separate your knees, heel toe your feet to hip distance apart. And we're gonna lift the hips, move into a little set to bond that I'm just bringing my body and my heels a little closer together. If the act of lifting is not in your wheelhouse today, then you have your blocks handy. You just put a block under your sacrum and you can just hang out there. So you still get the lift. But here, I just pitch until the feet slightly, heels out. You know, lift the toes and feel into the bones of the feet. Exhale completely, soften to the floor. And as you inhale, now start to push the feet down, lift the hips. Yeah. And exhale, lower. If your arms are over your head, you just lift them up, lower them down by your sides at the same time as the hips come down. 
Then you can keep your arms down, or we're gonna do that two more times. Every time I lift, I'm gonna take the arms over the head. So I exhale completely here. Let the inhale start with the feet pressing down, lifting, maybe the arms come up over your head. You extend, open your palms, spread your fingers. And exhale, lower down, hips lower, arms up, down by your sides. And then pause here for a full in breath, out breath. And then on the inhale, anchor, lift, wherever you're going here. And exhale, lower. This time I'm gonna keep the arms over the head as I come down. Once the hips are down, stretch the left leg. Stretch the right leg, be in the extension. Good. Okay, one more inhale. As you exhale, bring the right knee into your chest. Rock it in and out a few times. And then we're gonna stretch this leg up to the sky. So wherever it's gonna go, I'm gonna take the hands behind the thigh. If you need to bend your knee, whatever you need to do, make the space. Okay. If your leg can go straight and press, even if it's not straight, it might still be bent. Push the thigh into the hands. Let your shoulders come down to the floor. Even though they're lifting, just anchor them. Breathe here. Press through your heel. Open the knee. Open the jaw. Okay. Stay here with the leg lifted. We're going to bend the left leg if it's not bent. Left foot to the floor. Now reach your hands up, just slide them along the back of the leg, wherever they're gonna go. Take a breath in, out, and then release the leg, cross this right ankle over your left knee. Take your arms out to the side, and then just be here for a moment, just like you're just hanging out on the beach, doing nothing. Turn your palms to face down, spread your fingers. We're gonna inhale. And as you exhale, take this package to the right. And you can lift the left heel. Nice big breath in. Breathe it out. And then inhale, take this package up. And exhale over to the left side. So the sole of the right foot might touch the floor, might not. Good. And now we're just going to go back and forth. And you could go really slow, or you go at a pace that feels good. If you want to turn your palms up, and just let the hands be relaxed if you don't need them to help you do this action. We're just rolling side to side a few more times. Good. Okay, the next time you come over to the left, now you have your block handy. You can always put it underneath the right foot. I'm going to take the left hand, find this right ankle, turn the head to the right. Let the jaw go. And then you could take your right hand to the right hip if you like and just massage it or press it away or just give it a nice little warming rub if that's would feel nice. And soften your left shoulder. And one more breath. Nice. Okay, release the left hand, bring your head to center. Lift this package back up, readjust you. Now keep that right ankle over the left knee, and we're going to go to thread the needle here, friends. So we'll bring this left thigh in, and this might feel like a lot. So just be kind, you know. I'm going to take the hands behind the thigh and do a little bit of rocking side to side just to open. Flex your feet. I'll say this too, you know, if you're having back stuff, you might just keep that left foot on the floor. And that might just be the medicine you need. Good. Okay. Now bring it into whatever your center is. I'm going to take my hands above the shin because I know I can go there. It does make things more crunchy and more space to breathe into, to feel into, to release. Okay. The tendency here is going to be to rock onto the right side. That might be just fine. Or you start to move a little bit towards the left. Words. More balance on your back. And big, beautiful breathing, softening that outer right hip or wherever you're feeling it. And a, a little thing to do might even just be turning your head a little bit to the left. 
that might help you a little bit. Good. We'll take one more breath. Okay, I'm gonna release the hands and straighten the left leg. And then your hands might stay there. They might pop on top and um, it sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. They might mm -hmm. pop on top and you might hold there, whatever works. Let the jaw go, soften the shoulders if you can. Smile at your left foot. Okay, we're gonna release all of this. I'm gonna just let the left leg, I'm gonna take my left leg straight down. Once it comes down, we extend the right leg, arms over my head, and then just be here in the repose. And to everything you've done and what you are recreating. Okay. Okay, stay here as you are, inhale. As you exhale, bring the left knee into your chest. Take your fingers opposite interlace. Just find this and feel free to bend the right leg if you need to. You guys will just be here for a moment or two. And then we're going to extend this leg up to the sky. And then same thing, you just find your place here. Hands, maybe the belly of the thigh, maybe the knee needs to stay bent, or you can start to straighten, press out through the heel. Drop your jaw, your shoulders. And now I'm just pressing this thigh into the hands. So it's almost like there's a lengthening that happens. And I can feel that go all the way to the right leg. Good. Okay, one more breath. Good. And then stay here, bend the right leg if you have it, right foot to the floor. Sweep your hands up along the back of this left leg, wherever you've got here, we're just making things a little bit more crunchy. You can smile and breathe into your lengthening, your stretching. Good. Make it soften completely as you exhale. Release your arms out to the side. Cross left ankle over right knee. Now I'm going to keep the palms facing up, but if you need to turn them down for support, you do that. Okay. Just be here. Let the pose, the shape soften. You're lying on a beach. And we'll inhale, and as you exhale, let's take this package over to the left and just be very slow, mindful of what's happening. Good. And on your inhalation, you'll lift it up. And as you exhale, just take it over to the opposite side. And we're just gonna go side to side, maybe you go very slow. Or you can go faster, whatever, you find your pace. You find your medicine. Good. A lot happening. In the simplicity of the pose, a lot happening. What's doing the lifting for you? Is it your abdominals? Is it your hips? Maybe it's even the foot on the floor, your hands. Notice if you're anchoring your head to help lift, just be aware. And the next time we drop over to the right side, we're going to hang out there. And again, you have your block. You can throw it underneath your foot or not. Right hand's going to have find this ankle. I have the thumb alongside here too. And then I'll just drop in. Maybe your head will turn to the left. And you smile. Oh, I feel you. Left outer hip slash psoas muscle. You breathe some space. One more full breath in. As you breathe out, you can prepare, take the right arm out, head back, and then lift this package up. And stay here in this shape. Adjust yourself. Now we're going to thread the needle. So we'll bring it in. Interlace your fingers behind the thigh, on top of the shin. Maybe you need a strap. You know, be kind to this body. <laughs> and then just start to wave this package side to side once you're here. Just Inviting in the loosening. Good. So you can really feel here, you know, what's tight. And that's yours. Hey, I know you. 
We're good. Okay, and then we're going to drop into this little pigeon on your back, a dead pigeon. <laughs> Another way I've heard it. It always makes me laugh because my Oma Betsy always told us when she comes back, she's going to be a pigeon. <laughs> so every time I see a pigeon, that's Oma. <laughs> okay. Take one more breath in, breathe out, and then start to straighten the right leg. Maybe the hands pop over top and hold on to whatever you can get there. Okay. And then here, here's me. You know, I'm lifting my hips. The tush is coming off the floor. I can get this leg all the way there, but I'm going to keep the hips on the floor as best as I can and almost push back into the hands. Soften your buttocks if you can. Get one more big breath in. Side out. Now I'm going to take my arms over my head, release this right leg to the floor. Once it comes down, I'll stretch the left leg out. And then just be in a repose. Easy feel. Okay, so staying here on your back, I'm gonna bend just the left leg, left foot to the floor. The right arm is up and alongside your ear. If it's not there, take it there because we're gonna roll onto the right side. So the left hand can come down anywhere you like it. Roll yourself onto your right side. And then once you get to the right side, prop your head up on the right hand. Left hand can be there for support. I'm going to take this left foot and move it into tree pose. Okay, now you're here. So the first thing that happens is that we're going to kind of curl in a little bit. So I'm just going to walk this right arm, right elbow back. So I feel like I'm in alignment with my tail. And now press through the right. So the right outer edge of your foot, you see the baby toe edge is anchored to the floor. The left foot's anchoring. And then the left hand can stay on the floor as you take your belly in, or you find your balance by resting the left hand on top of the left knee. And you might fall. If your balance is really challenging, if you take your block and you just, whoop, there's my balance. <laughs> you just place it behind you. Sometimes that is just like, oh, okay, I feel the block and it just kind of keep you there. It might work, it might not. <laughs> Here, take one more breath. Now I'm going to drop that right arm out, rest the head, and take the left arm up and over. So we're in tree pose here. I'm going to reach the arms, take the belly in, take the heart in. My left toes are lifting. One more breath. And then take that left hand back, maybe to the floor, to your left knee. Prop your head back. If you put a block behind you, just take it out now. Good. Okay, I'm going to take this left knee and just hug it in and we're going to just roll a little bit so you've got the knee in feel whatever's happening draw your hand down and we're going to start to move the knee on top of me so this left foot is behind me i'm just going to hold it feel into your balance squeeze the knees together that might help ah! <laughs> one more breath okay so now we're going to dance it so I'm gonna bring this knee back. I'm gonna hold on to the knee. Okay, now take that left foot in front, open your arms back out like you're in twist. And then we'll take this left leg, maybe all the way out, maybe it's gonna stay bent. Inhale, and then as you exhale, you're gonna sweep this leg behind you. And you might take your arms over to support you. The left leg might, you know, stretch back. You might look over to the right. And then you're just gonna roll it on back. When the arms come out, the left leg comes out. Now you're gonna find this little dance, guys, in any way that makes sense. Go slow if you get dizzy. Just opening, twisting. You know, you're dancing with yourself. You remember that song. <laughs> Good. One more. Good. And I'll take the leg back, just gonna reach it back. It. And then we're going to come onto your back. Just find your way back. You know, adjust yourself on your back. Take the arms over your head. Stretch your legs out. Be in the repose. Feel your back. Good. And now we're going to do all that on the second side. So I'll bend the right leg, right foot to the floor. And then you're going to roll over onto your left side. The right hand comes over for support. As soon as you're here, prop your head up, 
on your hands. Okay. And then take your right leg now and put it onto the tree pose. And it might just be heel pressing, activate the left leg. Maybe you move the left arm back, lift your belly if you can. So you're not tightening your tush, just engaging. Good. Okay, find your balance. And then you can take that left arm out, drop your head down. Oh yeah, wait, lift your head up again. I forgot to take right hand to the knee. And that's where we really challenge the balance a little bit. Breathe, one more breath. And then extend the left arm now, drop the head. Maybe the right arm comes up and alongside. And so you have your arms over your head, you're anchoring, you're breathing. Okay, and then take that right hand back, lift your head up, rest it on the hand. There's some wrist stuff. Bring the knee into your body. So wherever it goes. And then slide your hand down the front of your shin, find the back of the heel and take the knees together. <laughs> Wah! Good. And then just be in your balance. Wah! Or no balance. That's all part of the learning. Good. One more breath. And now we're going to dance it. So I'll take that hand back up to the knee. Take the right foot to the floor, just so you can take the right hand over, stand your um, left arm out to the side. So the left arm comes out to a T. I'm going to roll onto the back and then open this right leg out or keep it bent. Good. And then dance it all the way behind you. Your hands can come to the floor as you turn. I'm just going to go front to back a few times. So just finding this little you know, movement dance on the floor, whatever you need, you know, I'm not going super fast so you can feel. Good. Okay, I'm going to do maybe one more on each side. So I'll finish this one I'm doing now and do one more. Leg out. <laughs> We're literally <laughs> dancing into the mud, <laughs> banging into each other. And then the next time you move in, you can let the right foot come down, find your way back onto your back, into your rest, whatever works here. Good. Okay. Nice big breath in. Move out. Bend your right leg, right foot to the floor. Bend your left leg, left foot to the floor. Let's take a little windshield wiper. Just swing your knees side to side a few times. All that loosening in the back. And, and then bring your knees up and we're gonna bring the knees into the chest. You're just gonna hug them in and out a few times. Good. Okay, I'm gonna come back to little Setubanda, little bridge, the lifting of the hips. I'm going to lower the feet to the floor. And then if you want to put your blocks underneath, you do that. That's all fine. You can just rest there while um, we lift and lower. So I'm going to start with the arms down by the side. Spread your fingers. Anchor the upper arms. Take your inhale as you are. And as you exhale, press yourself into the floor. Inhale, press the feet. Start to lift the hips. Maybe your arms stay here. Or they come over your head. You'll be choice. Good. I'm going to stay here. So I've just turned my heels out, really press the feet down. Breathe, smile. One more breath. And then slowly lower down. I'm going to keep my arms over my head till the tush comes down. And I'll take the arms up and down by the sides. A big breath in, big breath out. Okay, I'm going to change it a little bit. The next time we come up, we're going to heel to our feet over to the right. So even if you're on your block, you can do that. Okay, exhale completely. Inhale, start to lift. And keep your arms down or take them over your head. Now, once you're up, just heel to your feet a little bit to the right. And then lift your hips, breathe. Maybe push the left knee away a little bit. And then you can heel to your feet back to center and lower yourself down and just rest. Maybe the arms come down or they stay over your head. Good. 
Okay, so second side. Exhale. Inhale, start your lift. And the arms come over your head. And then heel toe your feet to the left. And then once you get to the left, you know, you lift the hips, you know, push the right knee away a little bit more. Good. And then either heel toe back to center or lower down, whatever you need to do. And then just be in the repose. So I'm going to keep my arms over my head, stretch the legs out. Good. Nice big breath in. Breathe out. Okay. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the left knee into your chest. Hug it in. Yeah, it should feel really nice. Take your arms out to the side. Stretch this leg up to the sky, wherever it's going to go. We're going to wave it side to side. So palms down, palms up, whatever one. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to roll onto your right side. Let the right leg turn. And then just take the leg up and out to the left. And as it comes out to the left, you kind of stay on your back. And you're just waving it side to side. Okay, if you want a little bit more um, back juice, and then when the leg comes over to the right, you just push it away a little bit. And then come on back. And let's just do one more. My foot is a little engaged. Okay. Good. And then bring the leg up, hug the knee into your chest. Anchor your right leg, inhale. And as you exhale, draw the belly in, lift the head and chest, kiss your knee or blow it a kiss and just great gratitude to this knee. Release, arms over your head, leg out. Breathe, feel you know, into your back, all of that. And then as you exhale, right knee comes in, opposite interlace, hug it in for a few moments. Feel how nice and loose everything is. And then arms out to the side, stretch the leg up. And as you exhale, roll to the left, let the left leg turn. Good. And then just waving side to side, motion of your ocean. Good. Okay. So maybe you watch your foot. The next time it comes over to the left, you could just push away a little bit, maybe. Almost like you're giving yourself a chiropractic adjustment. Good. Okay, we do one more on each side. So press it over to the left. Take it over to the right. And bring it up to center. Hug the knee in, change the interlace. And draw your belly in, lift your head and chest. Look at that knee. Oh, you're so beautiful. I love you, me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then release, come back to your repose. Feel good. Okay, so we're going to come back to child's pose. And you might start, you might come up, you know, might rock and roll. If you don't want to rock and roll, just roll over. Okay, I'm just going to rock up and down a few times. Size a whole back, almost to the back and somersault. <laughs> and then once you're up, you know, just take your time. When I feel dizzy, maybe you need a moment. I'm going to come in like it's my very first child's pose. So knees wide, toss of the feet down, big toes touching, hips to heels. And then extend yourself out and hmm, surrender. You know, this is a pose of surrender. And then use all your powers of sensational awareness to feel anything you're sensing. You know, the tops of your feet, your knees, your hips. Hopefully everything feels really nice. We can add a little feet work. So we're just gonna roll over the feet. We'll take an inhale. Exhale, soften into your child's pose. And then bring yourself up to your hands and your knees. And then keep the knees wide, just widen the feet as wide as the knees, tuck your little toes under. We're just gonna move and walk the hands back. Do a little bit of this rolling front to back, hip flexion, knee flexion, ankle flexion, foot, everything here. I feel my calves. Okay, now I know there's like 
we all have like a magic spot. I'm gonna take it back a little bit and see if I can walk my hands forward, curl in, and just put the belly weight onto the thighs. So the calves, I can feel where my calves are tight. I'm just releasing the heels to the floor, I'm not pressing them. Just find for yourself that space where your calves are like, oh yeah. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. One more breath. Good. Okay, forward fold. So you just take your hands down, lift your hips. We're just going to make a nice forward fold. So heel toe your feet to a nice, comfortable distance. If you need to bend your knees, bend them. And then we'll just sway the head side to side, maybe a knee bends. You can let your head go. Nice open legs. Even though this is our first time standing on them. Mm -hmm. Good. And then just come into forward fold, friends, and whatever feels good, like you can just release yourself. The hands might be resting on the floor. If this is too much for you. You know, you keep your forearms on your thighs and just let yourself drop. Okay, I'm going to grab the head. So I'm going to take my fingers, interlace them, pop them behind the, the back of the head. Elbows come into the face, and I'm just pulling very gently. The head in and the head might press back into the hands. Keep the weight in your heels. One more breath. And then release your hands to the floor. Okay, I'm coming into downward dog. You want to come down on hands and knees, that's all fine. Good. Okay, press your heels back, move your hips like anything you did at the beginning. Just go, oh wow, okay, I can feel my legs are open. So nice. We're going to come back onto the back. So remember how we did this last time? I said, take one leg through. I didn't say which one. So you know which one needs to go now. You just take it underneath you, out to the side, then turn yourself around, come and sit. Okay. Make sure your blocks are handy. We'll come to lie down again. Um, if you want to put anything on, you know, uh, maybe not under your head right now, because we're just going to lift the hips again. But just have your stuff. And lie down, find your blocks or block, one block, two blocks. We're going to support the hips with the lift of the block. So any way you like here, any height. I'm on the highest height, but that's, you know, lowest height might be the best for you right now. Just feel your sacrum supported. Your head is on the floor. Your shoulders are on the floor. Just take a few breaths here. Let everything... Melt over the block. Soften. Jaw, shoulders. Hips. You might even tune into the vibrancy in your legs. <clears throat> okay, Yogi's choice here. Any height. You can stay with your feet on the floor or I'm going to, because I'm on the highest side, I take my hands, hold the block just so I know it's not going to sneak out. Heel toe your feet to what you feel center is. We'll bring the left knee into the chest and then I'm gonna extend this left leg up. And then the right leg is also gonna stretch out. And because I'm on the highest height, you know, I could have heel to the floor. It might just be lifting. I'm press out through the heels. <coughs> Pardon my coughing, but that's all good. It means things are loosening. Okay, I'm gonna change legs. So I might do that in midair or, you know, find your way. Right leg up, left leg out, or left leg on the floor. Breathe. Some balancing that's happening here. Good. I'm going to take both legs up in the air. And I'm going to open them out to the sides. So be, you know, playfully curious. Okay. See if you can um, have your feet so they're not like, you know, they're, they're as they should be. Breathe. Press out through the inner groins. And then lift your legs back up. Get, I'm going to put the left foot down first, then the right foot. Get, hang out here for a breath or two. Now I've just widened my feet apart a little bit. I'm gonna to come to a little bit of a waving of the knees. I, I'm not even gonna call it windshield wiper. It depends how high you are on the block. Good. 
just to massage that low back a little bit. Good. And then bring it to center. We're gonna come off the block. If you're on the highest height, you might wanna go like lowest height for a moment, just come back in. And then all the way down. Once you're down, we're just gonna come back to our repose pose. So arms over the head, stretch your legs out. Just take a few moments here. Feel your body. Okay, and just the right leg, right foot to the floor. I'm not gonna do, uh, we're gonna roll to the side, but only just to press out. So roll to your left side, keep the right foot on the floor and just push it away. So you're just, you know, you maybe your arms are still on the floor and you're just rolling and then come back onto your back, change legs, push the left foot down, roll to the right side. Like you're stretching in the morning. Maybe you do this when you first wake up. Let's do one more on each side. We just change the legs, a little press, a little twist. Good. And then one more time. On the right side, we come back onto your back. Bring both knees into your chest. If that feels good. And we just rock side to side. You're gonna circle the knees. So you might keep your hands on your knees and just circle them around. And then the opposite way. Good. Okay. And then let's just come to twist. So take the arms out, drop your knees to the right. Have your block there if you want to support the knees. Turn the head. Just be here. End of your practice. Nothing fancy. Just receive, receive, receive. Take maybe one nice big breath in. Side out. Move your way onto the second side in whichever way feels good. So the knees are gonna go to the left, head to the right. And then just drop in. So the simplicity of this pose is incredibly good medicine. Just breathing into all of your organs, all that space. Good. Okay, and then from here, you might roll onto your left side, press yourself up. We're gonna set up for Shavasana, or maybe you wanna rock and roll again, yogi's choice. Take your time and just throw these props in for a nice restful Shavasana. Okay, so you can cover your Eyes, cover your body, use your holster, your eye pillows, whatever you like. Maybe you have a heating pad handy. Okay, and then entering into this place of rest that you have earned. And this is, you know, this is the ultimate repose. And letting everything just absorb, absorb, absorb. <clears throat> Even bringing yourself back to this idea of, you know, the beach vacation. We do all this work to get there. Just to lie on the beach and do this. Just breathing into your body your powers of sens sensational awareness, all the senses, feeling into the vibrations in your body, movement of energy and heat, and softening of all the muscles of your face. You're lying on a beach, your, your face is relaxed, maybe you're smiling. Shavasana.
Scanning any place you're still holding. I invite myself to surrender more deeply into this shape. Surrender anything you're holding. Feel yourself melting into the sand, into the earth. Softening your belly, your hips, your tush, your legs, soles of your feet. And just being with the fullness of your breath. Just feeling each breath creating space deep inside you. All of your inner organs can just float around like little fish. So much spaciousness. And staying here for as long as you like. If you feel it's if you're ready to come out, then let each movement be mindful, present, so you really feel yourself waking up from your Shavasana rest and stretching yourself and moving you know, your limbs, your fingers, your everything attached to your torso, supporting from the outside to the inside. So whenever you're ready to roll to your side, then just staying there for at least three breaths. We honor the transition. Rising, also a very soft, nourishing way. And when you do come up, just taking the time to just be in that which you have created, recreated, brought in, all of these things. Okay. And just take some time. And just as we started class, you start to feel into the energies surrounding you definitely a different energy than when you entered in. And on the exhalation, you'll bring your hands towards your heart or on your heart, bow your chin. So you honor all that you are and all that you offer, all the work that you do to be the best you can be. For the people that you love, starting with yourself. And so into that, we'll seal this practice with our may we be blessed mantra and one ohm. Inhale and exhale this breath completely. And inhale fully to begin. May, may we be blessed, blessed with loving kindness. kindness. May, may we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. Inhale. Oh. Take a full breath in. Breathe all that goodness into your hands. Catch that breath, bow your chin. Om Shanti, Om Peace, Om Shanti, Om Peace. As you inhale, lift your chin. Open your eyes and offer this great love to your loving self and send that out into this world. So much love. Because that's what you are, right? The embodiment of love and I take it all back. <laughs> Good.
Okay, Sunday morning yogis. Oh, and welcome. Palm Springs, so nice. So thank you guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, oh, I love awesome. it. Ah! <laughs> Mwah. thank you for coming in perfect timing <laughs> all right guys enjoy this beautiful day if you happen to be in palm springs in the sun soak that up and send it here and so much love have a great day guys we'll see you soon love you all. namaste <laughs>